17 hours. Yeah, Yoshi before and Ness. <laughs> yeah. All right. Pokemon Stadium 2 is the pick. You know that starter. It's everybody's favorite starter. You know it is. Nice long stage. You know, very evenly balanced between a lot of these guys. Yoshi's up tilt, I do believe, goes through the platform on a stage like this, uh, though. So that I think correct. Ness has got to be, at the very least, my first uh, thought is that Ness has got to be a little careful coming down. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because Yoshi's really good at keeping people in the air like that, juggling them, as you're seeing right now. Like, that up air is insane. And so Ness is floaty, and he's trying to get down to the ground. The way that Ness usually loses matches is by characters that can kind of keep him out with a sword and keep him juggled in the air. He doesn't have a lot of options, but you'll see that he's using, like, that magnet to shift his momentum and kind of mix up where he's going to go once he's trying to land. But let's see if uh, PC Ninja catches on to that and starts hard punishing those magnets. Yeah, it's interesting because in one way, oh my god, with a beautiful parry on the down tilt. We offline, baby. <laughs> it's like, on one end, it's like Yoshi, by trade, I should say, as the up smash takes the stock, there it is. is a brawler character. But that tail, depending on which move it is, is kind of a sword, man. That up air is gigantic. Back air, I think, is even bigger. Yeah. So that is definitely the kind of thing that can keep a little poor 13-year-old boy like Ness out, despite any psychic powers having to do with it. Uh, PK Fire not going to confirm into anything, though. Ooh! Narrowly getting the drag down upper, though, but only getting a down throw off of it. Thought that was going to be a back throw. Man, you hear the slap from those tails. The, yeah. Like, the tail just slapped Ness in the head. It's like, that move, those moves, the back air, really, really strong. The uh, up air, really, really strong. The up tilt, and there's the patented back throw. Uh, we were talking about it earlier, how, mm -hmm. like, you know, these guys were button testing, and this Ness guy, Kalo, he was making sure. He was warming up his fingers. He didn't want to mess up the input on that back throw. Yeah, <laughs> these guys got friendly. Dude, there's two sticks on the controller. It's hard. You got to remember which one. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, remember, what if oh, I got the wrong one? What are you talking about? Which blast zone is the back one? <laughs> it's funny. After you get this grab. Both sticks literally do the same thing, yeah, too. <laughs> That's the funny yeah. part. But yeah, you know, I mean, that slap town kind of sounds like a rat tail in a locker room, but it's definitely a huge, beefy hitbox for Ness to sort of get around with a contest. Yoshi's kind of big, so, and Ness's horrors, Ness's combo game. It's not like some other characters where Yoshi with the frame three Nair will be able to mash out of it as easily. Yeah. Ness's combo game is a lot more horizontal. So he can sort of back out and go right. back in sort of as he pleases. So once Ness is actually in, I feel like, oh. Oh, and the SD there, the, uh, the PK Thunder just getting intercepted by the corner of the stage there. So just put him in free fall, and then he is deceased. That second stock is ripped. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, it's not even going to matter how much in terms of getting around that tail if you're not going to be able to really get yourself back on stage in the first place. This is what I'm not understanding. I mean, Ness, don't get me wrong, it's very, it's actually pretty huge in this character's meta to use that PSI magnet to sort of navigate around and cancel, like you said earlier. He's kind of using it in the face as the up smash takes the stock. He's kind of using it in the face of Yoshi's eggs, though. That is not an energy-based projectile. Like, you're not going to absorb that absorb on the way it, yeah. in. I'm pretty sure you're just going to get hit by that going in. And so Yoshi, at the very least in PC Ninja, is going to have no problem approaching it with that. Over the back here. For a second, I thought he was going to do it again. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. All in the face of this nest right now, Glenn. Getting hit by the PK Rocket there, man. I'm not used to people getting hit by that and not dying or going flying. But PC Ninja was, like, at very, very low percent, so. Oh, man, and this is going to be scary. This is the hard part. Getting on the floor with Ness. He's taking a lot of damage just trying to touch the ground. Yeah. Finally back, but he ate a lot of damage, almost died. Oh, boy. He, this is really scary if you're <laughs> Ness. Yeah, it kind of looked like PC Ninja was trying to frame trap him between that egg and the up air right there. But uh, Kalo in that Ness, he's got one of the best air dodges in this game. You know, lasts a while and more than anything gets a lot of distance off of it. See, he's going for grabs a lot with Yoshi as that forward air is going to take the stock. I was going to say, that's pretty you know, ballsy. You know what's crazy? That move actually hits below the ledge. So that was a really good option there because it covered almost everything Ness could have done. Like given the timing if he went to go grab the ledge it could actually two frame you so right here if he if he actually air dodged into the ledge he still could have maybe gotten hit by that yeah like the only option he would have had right there is like gotta to think, read it yeah, and like air dodge right. up and like god knows that's risky you gotta so. you gotta think that that was a misinput to like land on the stage there and not at the ledge it looked like he was angling it a little bit but uh. landed on the stage and got Hit by that Yoshi Cranium, bro. It was like right in the spot where like it was like awkward. You really got to choose between air dodging up or air dodging at that very slight diagonal downwards yeah. toward the ledge to the point where this is Smash Ultimate. Yeah. We don't got like melee angles in this game, no, you know what yeah. I mean? So you never know if that thing's going to buffer straight down or something else on the way in. So right. that was really good on PC Ninja to recognize and, uh, that Kalo was in that very, very tough spot here. And 
potentially even smarter on the part of Kalo to recognize that he was getting caught on those platforms quite a bit. And now Final Destination is the pick because we're one of the hypest songs that you can play on this stage, by the yeah, way. this is great. I love it, man. The so throwback Smash to Smash 64. 64. Oh, boy. All right, and it, this is a, uh, you know, I don't know about this uh, counter pick because, again, what we were noticing a lot was, like, he was having trouble landing. And the platforms actually helped him a lot. So going to FD, I don't know that it was the right option. But, man, you don't even need to get landing trapped when you're just going to landing trap yourself. And that's he off stage. <laughs> <laughs> that is the second time he's done that, unfortunately. So, you know, first, uh, fool me once, you know, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, I guess. I mean, shame on the Ness, I suppose. And now he's getting juggled in the air once again. You see PC Ninja doing that patented Yoshi stuff. Running to the middle side of the stage. Trying to get that swinging pivot up tilt. He doesn't even really need it so much. He's already got him up to 80, lapping him on the stock all oh, over boy. him. And nice. aggressively. Coming down with an aggressive option, that was that was smart there because had he picked another defensive option there, it would have been easy for Yoshi to landing trap that. I mean, the thing about Yoshi is that Yoshi's pretty quick on the ground. Like, he can run across the stage and get to you. So you, you have to be really careful when you're landing. Mm -hmm. Oh, this should be a big punish, and it is. That's your stock. Yeah, there you go. He's Yoshi. He's, he's low-key got like that like sort of Pikachu speed on him where he can just run quicker than he looks. Kind of like Bowser when you think about him being just as fast as Pikachu. It doesn't make much sense, but, you know, then again, Fox is like with a Pikachu in this game. A lot of things don't make sense. Yeah. Kalo, uh, you know, maybe just getting a little nervous here. Was, like, I feel like he's... We saw the air dodge last game and then the SD and then the SD this game. Um, I feel like maybe he's just a little nervous. You know, we're seeing a lot of SDs and... PC Ninja was like, all right, I'm going to play it cool. Yeah. Because maybe you're a little nervous right now, man. I mean, you know, you hate to see it, but at the end of the day, it actually is relatively smart, like, to <laughs> take advantage of the fact when you can tell that your opponent is nervous. Right. Like any, like anything else, like, like saying, like, oh, this particular player plays very aggressive. Yeah. This one plays very campy. Like anything else, it's like telling, like, it's a tell to, like, see what your player is doing. Yeah. Tells are a big part of poker. Of course. And this yeah. game is just no, as this RNG. Game, yeah, this game, obviously, <laughs> I mean, there's obviously combos, there's matchups, there's stages, there's all that. But, like, at the end of the day, you're fighting another player. And if you notice, like, you know, those player, uh, the, the, the player meta and the IQ of, like, noticing, like, hey, this guy's a little nervous or whatever. Yeah, that's, that can determine the game even more than the matchup or the characters or any of that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? Guys in the SD, I'm going to sit there and watch. And it's just like the 50s, man. I mean, that win was...